everybody. It is Sunday morning, October 8th, and Junior's on his way over. We're babysitting for a couple hours today while Mommy works and Daddy works on the addition before the other grandparents uh, leave to go home to California. So anyway, we're filling in, and that's fine. Um, I already got up early this morning and made a batch, small, tiny batch, of uh, baby applesauce. <laughs> just came out of the bedroom and he's oh, laughing. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't made baby applesauce since our daughter was little. She's 29. And so, but yeah. And so, yeah. So I made a small batch. And um, uh, yeah, anyway. I have a lot of projects I'd like to do, including make some more um, project bags out of some of the stuff I bought yesterday, but Junior's a priority, so. Yeah, anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I'm glad, and some are very, very fast, <laughs> naughty type of fish. You have fish. I'm a bad fish, you're a good fish. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I don't morning. Know. It is Monday morning, October 9th. Yeah, 10.47 a.m. So we're going to do some sewing this morning. I'm going to do a little mini tutorial on that. We're going to also do, uh, fi hopefully finish the watercolor painting. I've got video to edit, socks to finish. It's going to be a busy day. But anyway, I guess I better get started because it's already late. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we made a crap ton of project bags and so I'm going to pick out a couple of the fabrics that I know when I started making them that I wanted um, for my collection. Why I want this orange, this one with the orange zipper, I have no idea, but um, yeah, and I think the rest of them are going to go up for sale, so yeah, got a whole stack. Even one of these, I'm going to keep the green one, so Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. It's time to eat lunch. We got all the project bags done. I ate some lunch. They need to be double checked for loose threads and then wrapped up and packaged, photographed, all that stuff, not necessarily in that order, and listed for sale. Uh, I also need to clean up my zipper mess. Yeah, and then we need to paint something before I do video editing, so. All right, I guess I better get to it. I'll be back. Bag video done, bags are packaged, painting video done and drying. Uh, I've got to clean up a few things. I still have to work on the socks. Yeah, all right, I'll be back. morning on this rainy Wednesday. <laughs> I think it's October 11th and it is 10 11 a.m. Uh, it's not a babysitting day so Junior's home with mommy and daddy and I am going to go run some errands and then work on some more projects. Crocheting in particular. Printed a bunch of new patterns out. Still working on socks is going to be an ongoing project. I enjoy making socks. Um, the more I work with the particular pattern that I've downloaded and the more I get used to it, the easier it is for me to make them. And I and it's easy for me to take with me, um, whether I'm going to the doctor's office or we're going on a road trip or whatever. So socks will be an ongoing project, but I have some yarn I bought upstairs to make a sweater with, and I think I'm gonna make a sweater for husband. I have a unisex sort of pullover pattern um, that's not really for men or women. It's kind of, could be for anybody. And I think I'm going to see if I can use that to make him a sweater. Um, I really like the way that pattern works. It's fairly simple, not complicated. 
if it's too complicated, I get bored. It's not that I can't do it, I get bored. And so this one is not like that. In fact, this one is one that even if um, I get past a certain point, I could even take this one with me on the road, along with socks. Um, and so anyway, um, so we'll be working on those later today, I think. I have to finish a particular pair of socks first. And uh, organize some patterns, clean up some stuff I've laid out on the art table. Yeah. But first, we have a whole bunch of errands to run. So we're going to go do that. I did um, get gifted via a buy nothing, local buy nothing group, some crochet thread. And um, that was really sweet. It was a lot of crochet thread. Um, and in stuffed inside one of the balls of crochet thread was somebody's very old vintage piece of handmade lace. Of course, I pulled that out. I have a bin of handmade lace I've been sort of collecting. And I do think I have um, something in the back of my mind I might want to do with it. So. I have been up in the art room working on stuff. Stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be, make Mr. Bob a sweater. Soon doesn't find the right pattern, but I do have this yarn I bought a while back. Um, it's Premier Spun Colors. It's an, a wool acrylic blend, which would be good for him, and those colors are perfect for him. So, um, yeah, I'm working on the socks for my friend. Cleaned out the yarn bag that goes downstairs. And yes, we went from one pattern binder to four. Four. I know. I know. Um, I dropped off some donations today. I'll tell you what this is about. Michelle Jasik. I think that's how you pronounce your last name. If it's wrong, I apologize. Um, and she had a thrift crochet thrift flip video where she took to granny square afghan and turned it into a cardigan i thought that was really cute i even commented on the uh, video and said oh, now you gotta have me now i gotta go look for a granny square afghan um didn't really ever expect to find one in colors that i like um and look what i found today you guys so I just come out of the washing machine and dryer. I'm going to hang it up and let it sit for a bit and make sure it's really, really dry. I don't know, have any idea what kind of yarn this is. It feels like it's probably acrylic or acrylic and cotton. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to be pulling the squares apart and reassembling them into a sweater. And on the way home, I'm like, crap, I've got to, now I've got to go get yarn that matches this to reassemble it. No, I don't. I'm gonna use all the bits and pieces that come off of here from disassembling it, including the edging, to reassemble the sweater. So that'll be cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish those socks and grab my bone broth, which is in the microwave, while <laughs> warming up, and I will be back. Okay, Mr. Junior is going home, and if you're watching this clip, you've seen a few edited clips of um, him trying to go to sleep on my lap, not wanting to let go of my eyeglass cord because, you know, I don't know. It's just. I'm gonna go check the mail, and then we are gonna sit and start a new crochet project. I'm gonna keep making socks, but I'm also gonna start a project, uh, a sweater for Mr. Bob. So, uh, yeah, for which I don't quite have enough yarn, but thankfully the store I got it from still has some of it. And I was able to, while Junior was napping, um, order two more balls and I will go pick it up. I already paid for them. They pulled them, it's ready, and I'll go pick them up tomorrow, so. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's see if there's any mail. I'll be back. Mostly junk, one bill might be our property tax bill, so there's that. All right, 
<sighs> I'm gonna go sit, have probably an iced coffee and start Mr. Sweater. I think he has his Masonic Lodge meeting tonight. And so, yeah, I don't wanna get too far on the sweater because I'm not sure on the sizing on the pattern and or my gauge. So I wanna do only a couple of rows and then have him here so I can try it on him. Yeah, all right, I'll be back. Oh, and FYI, I am awfully terrible at making gauge swatches. I almost never do, which is probably a gigantic mistake, but yeah, there's that. I'll okay, so um, one of the things that the daughter did for me is today when she picked up Junior, um, she um, brought me the bag of yarn she picked up for me the other day that was being given away free by somebody locally. And um, not a lot of yarn, but that's okay. Um, but I saw a video recently um, where the person in the video was making a mushroom bag. And the pattern wasn't hers, but the bag she made was really cute. I was very inspired by the color she used. And it made me think to make a bag in similar colorway, inspired by the 1960s and 70s, with the mushrooms being like gold caps, orange caps, red caps with white or tan bases. Um, and I really liked how she did um, the circles um, in green and the base, basic part of the ba bag in a brown go watch her video. I'll link it down below. Anyway, I also was thinking, well, as far as the mushrooms are concerned, I've got those two rope baskets. They're full of mini skeins and leftovers. Bet I have all the colors for the mushrooms in there somewhere. I thought, well, I need some green and brown because that I know I don't have. Well, guess what's in the bag? It's probably Red Heart. It's very soft, but it's a great green. And then it, there's not as much of it, but there might be enough. But look, brown. I, those are, so I can use those for a future project. Um, there was also this, if anybody knows what this is, let me know. I don't know what this is. It's really pretty. Maybe there's might be enough for a hat, maybe. Um, there's this Lion Brand Hometown USA, chunky, just one skein in this red. There is another Lion Brand Heartland in this pretty blue. There is this random ball of blue. It is not the same blue as the Heartland. It's a different blue and it kind of feels like Red Heart. And then there's a dollar store tweed in this gray color, which is pretty. There's only like 98, yeah, 98 yards and these little balls are usually 100 yards or less. So I'm not sure what I can do with that, but I mean, we'll find out. Then there was this gray ball of yarn grayish tan color it's coming out more here's next to the dollar store one so see you can see it's gray tan color um super soft and it's in this mill ends for mill end 400s bag does anybody know anything about this um it says made in turkey machine washable and dryable mixed fiber yarn assortment Acrylic poly nylon wool. I, I don't know if that means that's acrylic poly nylon wool, and I don't know how much of each is. I don't know anything about it. I am going to Google this. It doesn't mean I'm going to get very far. So if anybody knows anything about it, let me know, because the packaging intrigued me. And there was at least two other ballot balls uh, in here because there's only one left, and it doesn't look like it's been used, so... Let me know. All right, I'm gonna empty some garbage cans up here and go downstairs and continue working on Mr. Sweater, which I did start, and I'm having a lot of fun working on that. So, all right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.14 a.m. Friday, October 12th, I think. I think it's the 12th. Not exactly sure, but anyway. Let's see, the 12th is, the oh God, I hope it's not the 13th. It's Friday the 13th. <laughs> Anyway, I have to go out and pick up some yarn for Mr. Bob's sweater because I know even though I've barely gotten started that I don't quite have enough yardage. And I wanna make sure I have plenty. More than enough is good enough in this case. It's a brand new pattern, so I'm not sure if there'll be a ton left over or not, um, but 
and I told, I said before, I'm really bad about doing gauge swatches. I know I should be better about that. If anybody has any tips on doing gauge swatches, let me know, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go do that. I've got to pick up some stuff for dinner tonight. Uh, Rebecca and Polly and Junior are coming over. Hi guys. Yes, my hair is braided because it was everywhere. We're waiting for the kids to come over. We're doing family dinner night and um, we're having lasagna and garlic bread. Nice. We, well, I am babysitting uh, Junior tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it here or at their house. It depends on if Mr. is helping pound nails again. Not quite sure. They're putting on the shingles, I think, tomorrow. So I don't know if Polyus actually needs his help. His dad's flying down to help. I don't, I don't, I have no idea. I don't know how to put up shingles. Anyway, I also started on Mr. Sweater. I went and picked up the extra yarn this morning. Y'all saw that. And um, it's going pretty well. I'm working on the ribbing. And when I do these sweaters, it seems like the ribbing, the ribbing takes the longest to do the ribbing. And it's only like 10 stitches wide. Only like Hold 10 on. stitches wide, but it just, you know, it's like... 150 rows or something and it's kind of complicated stitch so yeah anyway I don't mind it that's fine but it's yeah so anyway we're gonna work on that and I'll alternate between that and socks because still making socks and I have two more sweaters after that one that I want to make and a bag so yeah I have all the supplies for all of the above my local little resale shop in King City. I popped in there real quick today on my way home. I didn't buy anything, but I did talk to the lady. I think she might've been the owner. And I said, you know, I just like to pop in really quick now and then and just see what kind of yarn and stuff that you have. I really love that you guys have that. Yarn and stuff is so expensive. She says, yeah, we've been selling the most yarn since we opened and we're gonna start carrying a lot more of it next month. That might be a bad thing for Mr. Yeah, I'm going broke on, on uh, yarn. <laughs> going broke, broke. <laughs> anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. We'll see what hap what we get up to when the kids get here. I'll keep you posted on this weekend. I don't, I don't know. So anyway, Guys. I'll be back. Yeah, do we look a little tired? There might be a reason for that. So we babysat Junior and um, Lily all day today, grand dog Lily. Um, Son-in-law and his dad were working on putting on the roof, the shingles on the addition at their house and daughter had to work. Uh, she's a real estate agent, by the way, if you need help with real estate here in Oregon, um, I will link her stuff down below. She's very good at what she does and she can help you out anyway. Um, we watched the kids all day, and that meant the, chillin'. the chill chillins, yeah. They were great to watch, but, you know, they're both a handful, so. Took them for walks. Walks, and um, Junior was, um, he had vaccines this week. I don't think it's his first round of vaccines, but he did have four or five of them, I think. Both legs. On Tuesday and both leg, both legs and one orally. And he's been on a weird sleeping eating schedule since then, which is not abnormal for a kid who's had vaccines. So, but yeah, he was, plus he started solids. So it, we're all getting used to it. He had two bottles and some applesauce and a teether cookie and yeah. So yeah, that's a lot. Anyway, he was also very tired, but didn't want to go to sleep. He's going to be one of those toddlers, I know you all know what I mean, who is dead tired and falling over because they're so tired and they need to go to sleep. But you're telling them, come on, I know you're tired, let's go to sleep. And they're like, no, I'm not tired. You, you know what I mean, that's going to be Junior. He's going to be the same way. Anyway, we're going to go grocery shopping now and get it over with because we haven't had a chance to do it yet today and neither of us really want to do it tomorrow. So we're gonna get, just go do it now. I'm in house sweats. They kind of look like pajamas. I don't care. He doesn't care. It doesn't matter. All right, 
we'll be back. Hey guys, it is about 9.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 14th. And we've just been sitting here since Junior went home and we did our shopping and everything, um, doing a few chores. And uh, now I'm doing some puzzle games on my tablet. And I'm also working on Mr. Bob's sweater. I love the way the yarn is turning out and the stitch pattern. Um, I'll link the pattern that I'm using down below um, if you guys want to join me in making this sweater. So far, the pattern's very easy to follow. Anyway, I also had a watercolor video air today, sort of watercolory mixed media, mm. that evidently went over really well with y'all. So I will endeavor to get more of those out to you in the near future. Um, things are a little crazy around here with getting used to being grandparents and helping babysit and construction on the kids' house, which means we babysit a little extra and just stuff, you know, it's stuff. And the holidays are coming and it's just insane. But anyway, it's all good though. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. If you... Um, Want to check out the video description for any relevant links? Do I'll, I'll try to remember to put them down there. I don't usually forget, but it happens now and then. If I do forget, leave it in the comment. And um, yeah, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.